what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel we have this nice question that says find the values of x that satisfy this equation well if you tried to expand this bracket you would be here all day and you would end up in a big mess we don't want to end up in a big mess so i'm going to be showing you a simple trick to solve this question in no time and how do we do that now we find the middle number between x plus 1 and x plus 5. So how do we find the middle number? So we'll write x plus 1, we add it to x plus 5. And then we divide the expression by 2. So this will result to x plus x is 2x plus 1 plus 5 is 6 divided by 2. Now we can separate the fraction. So this is 2x divided by 2 plus this is 6 divided by 2. Now this expression will result to these two cancels out these two, leaving x plus now 6 divided by 2 is 3. So x plus 3 is the middle number between x plus 1 and x plus 5. So let's call this middle number, which is x plus 3, let's call this m, which is the middle number. Now let's rewrite our given question, but this time in terms of m. So this will be m. Since m is x plus 3, to get x plus 1, I will have to minus 2. Good. All raised to the power of 4. Plus, this is m. Since m is x plus 3, to get x plus 5, I will have to add 2. So plus 2, all raised to the power of 4. And this is equal to 32. Now the question looks easy because we have the same terms inside of our brackets, but with different signs. Now we're going to be expanding this one after the other. Let's take this first. So this is m minus 2, all raised to the power of 4. Well, a simple way to expand this would be to use this Pascal triangle. So Pascal triangle looks like this. One, one, one. So this sounds like a basic. So one, which is start with one, add. One plus one is two, end with one. Start with one, add. One plus two, three. Two plus one, three, end with one. And lastly, start with one, add. 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, and then end with 1. So this is a power of 4 from the Pascal triangle. And recall that all these are coefficients. So we start with the first coefficient 1. Now m to the power of 4. Now, this will be times 2 to the power of 0. Notice that m starts with a power of 4, y2, which is this value, starts with a power of 0. So as we move along, the power of m reduces by 1, while the power of 2 increases by 1. And since we have minus here, so I'm going to be putting minus here, and we're going to be alternating the signs as we move along because of this minus. So let's go. The next coefficient is 4. Now the power of m reduces to 3. Power of 2 increases to 1. Now alternate the sign. Plus. The next coefficient is 6. Power of m reduces to 2. Power of 2 increases to 2. Now alternate the sign. Minus. Now the next coefficient is 4. Power of m reduces to 1. Power of 2 increases to 3. And then alternate the sign plus next coefficient is 1 power of m reduces to 0 power of 2 increases to 4 very good so now let's simplify this so that means our m minus 2 all raised to the power of 4 will become now 2 to power 0 is 1 so 1 times 1 m to power 4 will give m to power 4 minus now this is 2 2 times 4m cube is 8m cube let me write this very well this is 8 
Now, plus, this is 2 squared, which is 4. 4 times 6m squared gives 24m squared. Now, the next is minus. 2 to the power 3 is 8. 8 times 4m will give 32m. That is it. And then plus, lastly, 2 to the power 4 is 16. 16 times 1m to the power 0 is this 16. Remember, this is m to the power 0 is 1. So that is it. So that is for this. What about this? So I'm going to be adding this. So this is m plus 2 to the power 4. Well, m plus 2 to the power 4, we have the same coefficient. But since I have plus here, that means we're not going to be alternating the signs. So the signs will remain the same, which is plus. So I'm going to be writing the same thing. m to the power 4 plus 8m to the power 3 plus 24m squared plus 32m and then plus 16. And from what we have here, this plus this gives 32. So that means this plus this, which has their expression, is supposed to give us 32. Very good. So now let's add up. m to the power 4 plus m to the power 4 will give 2m to the power 4. Now, since this has different signs, they cancel out. Very good. Now, plus 24m squared plus 24m squared gives 48m squared. And this has different signs, so they go off. Now, 16 plus 16 is 32. This is equal to 32. Very good. And let's move this 32 to the right-hand side. So we have 2m to the power 4 plus 48m squared to be equal to, this is 32. And as this 32 crosses, it becomes minus 32. Very good. So this will result to 2m to the power 4 plus 48m squared to be equal to 32 minus 32 is 0. Now notice that we can divide through by 2. So divide through by 2. This will give us 2 cancels too. So we have m to the power 4 plus 48m squared divided by 2 gives 24m squared equal to 0 divided by 2 is 0. And notice that m to the power 2 is common. So we can factor out m to the power 2. Open bracket m to the power 4 divided by m to the power 2 is m to the power 2 plus 24m squared divided by m squared is 24. This is equal to 0. So we have two cases here. We have m squared to be equal to 0 or we have m squared plus 24 to be equal to 0. From our first case, notice that m will result to 0. And recall that x plus 3 is m, right? Good. So we can substitute the value of 0 here in place of m. So I'm going to be putting 0, 0. When I move 3 to the right hand side, you see that the value of x will become negative 3. That's it. So we've been able to get a value for x from our first case. Now from this second case, we have to move 24 to the right hand side so that we have m squared to be equal to as 24 crosses it becomes negative 24. now we can take the square root of both sides so the square root of m squared will be plus or minus the square root of negative 24. good you see that this square root cancels out the square leaving behind m to be equal to plus or minus. Now, because of this negative inside of a square root, we're going to be having a complex value known as i. Good. And the square root of 24 gives... 24 is 6 times 4. So that would be 2 root 6. Very good. So we've been able to get another value for m. We recall that x plus 3 is equal to m so we can substitute the value of m here so x plus 3 is equal to m m is plus or minus i 2 root 6 
right? Good. So to get the value of x, I'm going to be moving 3 to the right-hand side. So that x becomes negative 3 plus or minus i to root 6. We can separate this. So x is equal to negative 3 plus i times 2 root 6. Or x equal to negative 3 minus i times 2 root 6. Good. So we have three values for x, which is x equal to negative 3. This is a second value and this is a third value. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. Like I always say, until next time, take care.